Well, come on in out of that uh, cold, snowy weather that we're having today. Well, actually, it was, uh, I think it was in the 60s today. Probably going to be in the 60s tomorrow. But anyway, uh, come on in. Let's take a look at your inspection report. So stay with me. Okay, now let's take a look at the inspection report and see how it reads out. This is a generic report. This is exactly what you will get, only your information obviously will be filled into all these blanks. The upper right-hand corner of the report is the legend. Each one of these initials pertain to something. A is consistent with the age of the chimney. B, C comments below. C, repairs needed. D, need further evaluation or E, not applicable. And they're placed into the boxes next to the parts of the chimney that can be easily identified in this diagram. And then, of course, you'll find my comments here below. Now, let's take a look at your particular, your personal report. So stay with me. Hey, Vivian. We went out to the house and inspected the uh, chimney for you today. It, uh, it was really clean, so it didn't need to be uh, swept. The people that are living there now have never used the fireplace, and I think the people before them uh, used it very sparingly. So... That is what's going on with that. Here's what it looks like. It's an open wood burning fireplace. Uh, working damper, no problems with that. Flue system itself, you can see how nice and clean it is in there. Looks real good. Let's go up on top. So we've got some cracks up on the crown here that may be causing water to get into the body of the chimney. Let's scroll down here. We'll also look at the shoulders. Uh, both shoulders are missing mortar. They've got a lot of cracks in the mortar and stuff. They're probably leaking too. You can see how pronounced that crack is in the crown. So I'm giving you a price on making a repair there. I think it would be pretty smart. Now, the person who installed this chimney cap would have been a professional uh, he's, uh, because these are professionally uh, ordered caps. Uh, you can't get them at Home Depot or Lowe's or, or uh, Black Hawk or any of the hardware stores. This is a, what is called a top mount cap, which simply means that it slides down, but you can see there's very little room from the top of the flue to the, uh, to the uh, base of the um, uh, lid here. And so what that may mean is this may be a smoker. In other words, when you burn the fireplace, you might get some smoke into the house. See, if we go back to the original picture of the house, this guy uh, did all this stonework around it. So he may have covered up smoke stains that were on the brick before he laid that stonework in there so oh, we'll shut that off so it's hard to tell whether it's a smoky fireplace or not especially since he had used it since he put the stonework up so i'm just uh, buyer beware there that it may smoke back up a little bit uh questions for me of course it can be replaced right we could put a, a top a cap that actually mounts to the top of the flue which is what you see all through the neighborhood that would be a typical chimney cap so it'd be easy to, to repair um, give me a call if you have questions, 704-526-6348. You can email me at chris at affordablesweep.com.